Good morning, Craig. What are we doing today? We're doing a removal install in Goshen. You know anything about it? Uh, it's past the high school. I do remember going up there for a site inspection recently. I see the boys all have their their, their red shirts on. Sam, what are the what does the red represent? Good to boy, everyone. Uh, okay. Veterans. Veterans. Sort of uh, remember everyone deployed. R E D. That's what it stands for. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I see it. I see it. I see it. Somehow, um, someone compliments Sammy on his. He has. The, they said he has the best haircut. He does. He's got a great bald guy head. Yeah. Well, probably because he's been bald for. No, like you could have weird shaped head. He's got well, Corey, what's wrong? Corey, do you have a? Uh, don't touch Jim. Hit the button here. Have the door open. It doesn't open. Why? Because it was smashed at four in the morning yesterday. Okay. It's broken. It's stuck here. I have to, we have to work it. We have to get a ladder inside and hammer it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was the only one in at four in the morning. They, they can't get here on time, so obviously that's, they're blaming it on me. That was our ride today. I'm going to hoist you up there, Craig. I see right where it is. Craig's always the guy that goes up on the bucket. Okay, just met with the homeowner. I got a little nervous because I did a site inspection here and I did not remember them at all, dude. But then they started uh, talking and they're just the cutest couple. I know. They're married 58 years and they watch all of our stuff. So, <clears throat> that's going to be our new thing. I always have a picture of Sammy sitting. Okay, boys, 58 year married couple. So, if your guys were on the fence about marrying, here, there's the reason you should, right over there. They're as happy as can be. Okay? Don't go based on your, your mother and I's relationship. <laughs> Wearing red today, that makes me proud. And you put Sammy down, you're on fire. I didn't put Sammy, oh no, yeah. Oh, that'll get, that'll get edited. That'll get edited. I can't do anything against Sam anymore, ever.
Okay, we've got the metal plate to protect the edge of the driveway. They're gonna drive in the empty mason dump truck right now so I can dig into the back of it. They've asked me to save those green bushes. Red one they want out. So there's the tank. This one right here, it's gonna be closed, but I think we can do it. It's gonna come right to about here. So that'll be close, but I'm sure we can replant it. And then we'll just trench our way over. And the new install is going right here. It's got to dig in a little bit, probably. Yeah, on this side a little bit. Okay, so we wish every tank was that easy. And close to the surface. It's we have four inches of cover. So Sam's going to clean it up. We'll cut our axis hole. How much product's in there, Sam? 25 inches. How many? 25. 25. Okay, so Craig and Corey have leveled and installed this thing perfectly. Let's just see. That's pitched towards the drain plug as it's supposed to be. Looks good. Looks good. So we're going to try to take this off. And we'll have our lines come right around towards the back here. We get the pick out. It's in there? We'll just start picking that. We'll get that about 20 inches below grade. Run it over and we'll tie into that line. Jammer put a screen on the bottom. We're going to transfer directly into their new tank. That saves us a whole step. Um, and the reason why we're able to do that is because of an outside install. It's, all you put on is a pre-threaded 6-inch nipple and a pre-threaded 12-inch nipple. We love outside installs, especially when they match the house like this. Perfect Friday job. And we saved both of her green bushes, or I'm going to. Mikey's getting suited up. And his harness, that's why I cut that tank open a little bit more. It was just too small to recover him if we had to. But obviously not a dangerous situation if we've got six inches of cover. So I, I'm confident that we're going to have Mikey for the weekend. And Mikey thanks all of his fans that keep drawing pictures. He loves it. Thank you. 
eight. All right, so those plates are so annoying because it constantly bleeds out. Um, got the bulk of it out. I'm gonna lift it up, set it over here, and then turn it so that stuff will kind of bleed out. So there's the striker plates that I was telling you about. It's got four of them for the four bones on top of the tank. Otherwise, if it's if I keep it down in there, all that oil stays under those plates. It just never comes out. Mikey is done, did not need to be recovered. Very good. Yeah, it still continues to drip though. She's full, burner's running. You guys know I always say I love to look at a tank and not see the orange copper. That to me is a nice clean install. So right now we're just hanging out waiting for the inspect.
Okay, folks, Sammy is strapping this baby down. The boys are proudly wearing their red. Hey, we got we got any seed? Cut the camera. We're going swimming. And even when it rains, it's I'm not sure. Enough. We got seed. I'm not sure. All right. So we got no damage here on the asphalt. How'd it come out, guys? Good? Oh, yes. You're happy? Yes. All right. She's happy, I'm happy. All right, I'm, I'm gonna just do this and then I'll come with you guys. All right. Uh, can't do much about that. Throw some seed down there. That's pretty darn good. Right around. That's a good install right there, folks. Not sure if you see a lot of these going on. But if you do, you'll be disappointed in the results after watching our stuff. We're not conceited. We're convinced. We're convinced. Basically, that's our only floor here. And if you throw some seed down on that, that's going to come back. Mikey, yep. show us your red again. Turn around. Let's see why we're wearing red on Friday. Because we remember everyone deployed. That's another fine job by Tank Masters Environmental. Everybody have a great weekend.